men, are like vultures, if you throw yourself at them carelessly, they will devour you and your pride in a matter of seconds. Men are good people, but if you give them the chance to mess around with you, they will make sure to mess you up real good. Here are six ways to make men respect and fear you like a high-value woman. 1. Stay mysterious. When a man opens his heart and wallet to high-value women, they don't just jump in right away. They take their time to study them and play hard to get to make men earn their love. They hardly talk about themselves to men until they are comfortable around them. Unlike some of you who will tell men everything about you on the first date in an attempt to make them see you for a serious woman. A woman with dreams and ambition. A woman that needs the right partner to help her fulfill her dreams. High-value women are never in a hurry with men because they know that the slightest mistake you make around them you are history. They control the pace and tempo of the relationship because they have the yam and the knife. If the man doesn't pitch them well, no yam for them. Until a man pops this question, do you know that I really don't know stuff about you? That is when you know that you have been mysterious. If not you were being played. This next point is how you get back on top. 2. Learn to say no. Most women don't know how to say no to men. They think that when men beg and run after them is a sign of desperation. Men are highly manipulative and know how to appeal to the emotional side of women. Like children, they keep taunting you until you give in to their demands out of the frustration of failing to make them stop. If you carry this motherly instinct everywhere with you and treat men like babies, men will treat you like shit all the time. No in itself is a complete sentence. Let your no be no and never add any explanations to it. Once you do you dilute its powers. Men know that women say one thing while implying another. So when a woman says no to them she means yes, that is why they never take no for answer. But high-value women are not part of this committee of doubtful women because they always mean what they say. Their no is no and their yes is yes. If the man does not want to take no for an answer, then this next point will make him understand that you mean business. 3. Maintain silence. If he does not want to respect himself and keeps pushing and pressing for a yes, stand your ground and take as many minutes of silence as you can. High-value women are not afraid to sit for hours in silence with a man without talking to him. They don't feel compelled to talk if they run out of ideas or discussion topics. Let him do the talking, remember, you have the yam and the knife. So let him talk. High-value women love to listen and because they listen more than they talk, it helps them to stay mysterious. Being mysterious means no vulnerabilities to be exploited, without vulnerabilities your no has so much weight. By listening you learn a lot. You can tell when he is lying or exaggerating, because you were paying attention. High-value women are able to see through men's lies because they prefer to listen rather than talk. Men have been given the impression that women love to be lied to, but high-value women frown seriously at this attitude. Talking too much often results in lies telling. High-value women despise liars and hate their company. 4. Become scarce. What high-value women do to men who don't take no for answer is ghost them. To maintain your dignity in the eyes of men stay away from them as much as you can. It will save you from humiliations and public embarrassment from naive men who can't take no for an answer. To become scarce is to become busy. 5. Set boundaries. High-value women are highly territorial. They love to set boundaries and do not take it lightly with intruders, men who don't know when to give up. They guard their private and personal space jealously and fiercely. High-value women don't tolerate men who don't know their place. Men who think they can have their way by pressuring them. Learn to set boundaries between yourself and your male friends. Treat acquaintances as acquaintances and treat friends as friends. Learn to state your intentions clearly and avoid giving off mixed signals.